I had a recent delivery where a first time mom did great. It was a great labor. She got to fully dilated around one in the afternoon and she needed to be coached. And you know, she was so fortunate to have a very experienced, seasoned, confident, competent nurse who worked with this patient since seven o'clock in the morning. And I have to tell you, eventually this patient delivered vaginally. And you know who made the difference? The nurse. It was the nurse. I, I know that many people think that OBs, midwives, many of us, we play a role, and I think we do. I think for me, the way I practice obstetrics is that I'm more of, a, I'm more of an observer. I let patients, you know, do their thing. And when I watch this nurse help this patient, first time mom, do you know what it's like to push for the first time? It's, it's, it's not easy. I tell my patients, you know what? Unless you poop, there's no baby. No pooping, no baby. How many of us think it's natural to be naked, waist below, bear down like you're constipated, and poop? I know I can't do it, but you know what? That's, that, those are the muscles you need to have a baby. It takes time. And I watched this nurse help this woman change left, change right. At one point, I couldn't really figure out how this nurse had this patient's leg over her shoulder and was massaging her back at the same time just because the patient was having back pain. Not once did I see any unpleasant ex ex expression. And, and I know come four hours after being fully dilated, there was a moment where the patient really needed additional encouragement. This is where I think often, in a totally different case, where, you know what, you've been fully dilated for three hours. I think enough is enough. I think we should do a C-section. Not in this case. You know who made the difference? It's the nurse. The encouragement she gave to this young woman and had a beautiful delivery and in the process, you know what? Like I said, no pooping, no baby. All that mess after. Who cleans up? The nurse. Of all the teachers I've had since medical school in Columbus, Ohio, 30 some years in Boston, which group really influenced me? I've had great teachers, great professors, but I think it's nurses. They're the ones who, when I was in Columbus, they're the ones who taught me how to drop blood, how to start an IV, how to scrub. When I got to Boston City Hospital, they're the ones, I remember one of my first deliveries, you know, I was all dressed, and then I was ready to do one of my first deliveries by myself, and the father of the baby goes, Doctor, how long have you been doing this? And I, I froze, I, it's one of those moments, I think I want to be able to say, three words, me no English is what I want to say. Instead, I had this amazing nurse who said two words, long enough. I will never forget that delivery. Shortly after, I had to call a code on, on a 26-year-old woman who had an emergency surgery, and I called code for unresponsive behavior. Unfortunately, that young woman died. And I almost walked away. But it was that nurse who said, Chun, you are just a lowly intern. You have nothing to do with this. This is what happens in life. Now get your ass back in there, do your thing, because you are here for reason. It was the nurse who brought me back from walking away from this profession that I love so much. And personally, I want to thank all of you for making me who I am today.